everyone, welcome back. This is Dana from Spark of Charm, and today I'm going to show you how to prepare text for use on your Glowforge laser cutter. So in this video, we're gonna talk about two things. One is how to prepare text to cut, and the other is how to prepare text to engrave. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some text to our file here, and I'm just gonna use my name. So I'm gonna just put Dana Renee, and I'm gonna make this bigger so that we can see what we're working with here. So if you were to take this, save it even as an SVG and put it into the Glowforge app, it would not recognize this text. There's an additional step you have to do before you can do anything with this on your machine. And that is to outline this text because right now these are showing as characters, text characters. And there's no real stroke or fill on these characters that the Glowforge can recognize in terms of its cut. So we're going to take this and we're going to go to type and then create outlines. And now you'll see if we get rid of that fill that we have outlined paths for all of our individual letters. And once we have this, you can then either make this a cut by setting your stroke color to say red, if you're using red as your, your color to designate cuts, or you can make it an engrave by setting your fill color. So in this case, I'm just gonna say black. And then now you can save this as an SVG. Um, the way it is now, it would outline and cut. So it would engrave and cut. We wouldn't want both. So if you don't want it to cut that, we would just take that outline, the stroke outline off and just leave it as the engrave. Now that's pretty easy when you're looking at individual characters. So the way that this is now, if we were to have these cut out it would cut out every individual letter of the name. But what happens when we have a script font where it's connected? So let's delete that out, come back to our text tool, put my name in here again. We're gonna make this bigger again so that you can see what I'm working with. And then we're gonna change the font here to a script font where the letters are connected. So we're gonna look at this one, this Kaleido Smooth. So now you see we have our connected letters here. And again, what we'll do is we'll select all of it, go to type, create outlines, and you'll see here that we now have the outline of that. I'm gonna get rid of my fill so we can see the cut lines. I'm gonna set my cut lines back to red by changing the stroke color. And what you'll see here is that every letter is still individually cut out. So what we need to do to turn this into one continuous cut, for example, for the A and A, is we need to weld or union these letters to each other. So we're gonna select them all, go to Window, Pathfinder, and then we are going to select the Unite option. And this creates a compound path. Now if you come back and you look at these letters, you'll see that where they overlap, it's joined. So now we'll have a one continuous cut of the outside of those letters. Now what's important to note when you're looking at this here is that the D and the R in these are still going to be a standalone letter. You can change that manually if you want to. So using the direct selection tool, we'll come in and click the path for our D. And then we can move this. Actually, let's move it to the selection tool. We can move this using the selection tool so that there is a slight overlap between the D and the A. Now if I come back and I go to my Pathfinder again, 
and reunite these, you'll see that this is now connected here. So Dana will now come out as one continuous cut. So this is really useful if you are someone who is making signs or if you are making names that people are gonna like hang on the wall in a nursery or something like that. It's a really good trick to have. And you can decide how you want it to cut out. If you want it to be one full piece or if you're gluing it to a backer and you don't mind them being separate. So just again, using Renee to show you how we did that, we're gonna take the selection tool, select our letter, then we are going to move it just so that there's a little bit of overlap there, just enough. And then we would go back to our Pathfinder and Unite. And so now those letters are going to weld. You see here we have connection points on those letters now. And it will be one continuous cut on the outside. So now your text is ready to upload into your Glowforge app. You would go to File, Save As. And then we would just save that as an SVG. So Dana Renee SVG. And then click Save. And there's no need to change any of the options here. You'll just click OK. And then your file will save and it can be imported directly into your Glowforge interface and be used to score, cut, engrave, whatever you'd like to do. And just a reminder, if you wanted to engrave this rather than cut it, what we would do is create a fill. So we would come back here, go to our fill, set our fill color, say green, and remove our stroke. Remember, fills engrave, strokes score or cut. So I hope that you found this brief tutorial helpful and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and if you have ideas for other things you would like to see explored in Adobe Illustrator please don't hesitate to send over the ideas I want to make things that are helpful as you embark on your Glowforge adventure. Have a great day!